So today in Spaceflight Simulator, we're going to be building a fully functional colony from refineries to VABs, launch pads, and even rovers with brand new parts. So let's start off landing our rocket and create our first colony module. Just like that, we have got our base with a little tower and a habitation module. But in order to make this a functioning colony, we are going to need a mission plan to allow us to use our brand new rover and infrastructure to allow astronauts to live here. First on the list is to build a refinery so we can store our materials for expansion. So let's grab our two vital types of brand new fuel. We've got construction cargo and electronic cargo. So let's get the right amount we need for a refinery and land it safely back on Mars. It will become a lot easier when later we can actually have a spaceport we can launch from. And there we have it. This is actually starting to look like a pretty good colony now. And with another mission just like that, we have solar panels added to our base. Now, this is where it gets exciting. We're gonna need an actual VAB on Mars in order to be able to roll out our rockets to the launch pad. So let's add 10 tons of construction material and four tons of our electronics to our next payload. And just like that, we have our very own Mars VAB. This back and forth process gets a little long. And just like that, we have got a launch pad as well, meaning our colony is nearly fully complete. And this mod is all thanks to Danny's More Parts mod, links are all below. Now our spaceport is all set up, it is time to reveal our rover here with a ton of custom parts. Now we have these tracks at the bottom of our rover, which are going to be the wheels, similar to these things in real life and provide for a great and reliable base. Before we get into helicopters, yes, actual Mars helicopters, as you can see, we have batteries. Now, this is thanks to N204's electricity pack, which finally adds electricity back to the game and all of its functions. And just next to this on our rover, we have got pistons. Now, pistons are used to essentially push or move objects, just like how we can push this astronaut, which this is a really cool part. But if you think this is cool, just wait till you see what else is in this pack. Now, this here isn't your normal side parachute. It is indeed a weather balloon. So if we just attach this from our rover, it is going to bring our payload into the atmosphere to allow us to conduct our research. Eventually, when we now cut the balloon, we have got a normal parachute attached to allow us to safely land and our payload. And just like that, we are back on the surface, all ready for a second flight. Speaking of flights, we have got a helicopter on our rover. Now, this is built using some RCS thrusters and ion engines, because they look nice, and also features a brand new part in this pack, which is our rotor, which actually spins around when we are in flight. So let's launch this from our rover, and we are off, and just like that, we have got a functioning Mars helicopter, which we can then relog back. Next up, we are actually able to connect to the Space Center antennas. For this, all we need is a communication disc. So let's attach one of these to our rockets. And it means when we are connected, we're gonna be able to control our rocket without needing a probe or a capsule, which makes this absolutely ideal for satellites. Now we're in orbit, we can see that our antenna is connected to the one on the rocket. This might just be one of the coolest mods ever. And this is what you've all been waiting for. We have actual hinges, which you can connect to any part and it is fully functional. There's no blueprint editing involved, and this can be used for absolutely anything you may wish, as I've demonstrated here. But if you haven't got the Steam version, that is not a worry, because we have seen actual astronauts. Yep, not a mod, but more of that in this video here. 